Hello and good afternoon and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. There we go, isn't it looking organised? I'm very pleased and I'm very pleased with how my um, workstation, I'm calling this, is looking. So I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd show you that in detail, uh, show you how it's looking. Um, it's going to evolve the more I use it but I thought I'd show you my current setup, how I've got it all laid out, and you can let me know what you think. Uh, so let's start there. And then I've um, got a bunch of orders. We can get onto that. A couple of decent orders going out today. A few bits of ceramics that I've already picked that I can show you. A few private sales, a few shout outs, all the usual stuff. So yes, welcome. Good to see you. It's Monday again. How has that happened? So yeah. Let's have a look at my setup in here first. This is the uh, worktop that I put in. Um, I've ended up putting a, a cupboard here. Uh, originally the plan was to take the worktop right the way to the end. I'm glad I didn't now because that is working really well over there. Um, so if we start underneath, I've got some spare crates, a load of boxes under here, uh, two um, of these tubs full of void fill, super handy. This I'm very happy with now. This is a heater, which switches on here. There's no point in me trying to heat this entire space. Um, it would be futile. But when I'm stood here working, I can heat me and the immediate vicinity, and that works really well. This, let me turn it off quick. This used to be in our shop. It used to hang above the door. It's one of those little, uh, shop fan heaters basically so that is now set up under there working very well i use a laptop in here that doesn't stay in here i plug it in and i have a mouse set up and my laptop speaks to my label printer which is here and it speaks to my laser printer also which is sat there so that's working really well um, most of this is more packing supplies we have envelopes, these are little large letter size boxes and the bigger large letter size boxes, envelopes, toner cartridge, all the usual stuff. Poly bags, different sizes, more envelopes, loads of Ziploc bags, all that good stuff. On the side here, I have my uh, labels that have to go on my sacks when I drop them off at the post office. So they are just there being convenient along with some um, zip ties for doing up the bags. So these are, I've just had some more sent over. So those are now full, or well, that's full rather of mail sacks. Got some envelopes up there, very convenient. At the moment, my six by four labels that I get from the Royal Mail are stashed in there to order some more soon I've only got six left I've got some tape and that's pretty much it oh some black wrap has just sat down there I haven't really found a home for that yet um box of things that I use a lot tape magnifying glasses uh spare knives you know all that good stuff staplers sellotape I have two little screws on the wall so I can hook up my tape guns and I have scissors. Already lost one pair, did have four. Now I've got three. Where are the others gone? Huh. See, I cannot keep track of scissors. No idea where they went, but we did have four. <laughs> um, this is my little large letter gauge for checking that things will go as a large letter. So I've just put a screw up there and then one here. So it sits nice and square. Awesome. And then we now have my two um, little racks or fiddly bits, which is virtually empty at the moment, but that sits there. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm very happy. I'm enjoying using it and it's working well. Okay, so let's do a few orders. First, I've got a couple of private sales. I need to say hi to Mike. You got in touch and wanted one of these uh, little neck pillows. 
Um, I don't think you specified a colour, so I've gone with this grey colour. I hope that's okay. Thank you very much. And uh, Judith has bought the first item of jewellery to go. Now we have, if you saw the video of the latest haul, we have these boxes of jewellery up here. The very first item to go is going to Judith. Let me show you which one. So it's one of these um, necklaces. So this is silver plate with these five sort of cloth braided navy parts on. Very nice. So thank you so much, Judith, for that. And then thanks to Elaine, who got in touch with Andrea. And you picked up this gorgeous little bowl. Um, you wanted a black neck pillow, so there's that. And then from the hall on Sunday, uh, you messaged Andrea and wanted the Pink Floyd um, Division Bell. That's the remaster. And the Led Zeppelin. So we're going to send all of that off to you. Now, I believe you're away for Easter, so I've got to get it packaged and not ship it till after Easter, I think is the plan with that one. So thank you very much to Elaine. Right, so we also need to pick eBay orders. So let's have a look. If we scroll up, we've got to find all of this, all of this, and we have 30 for a grand total of 558 pounds, 56 pence. Now you may have seen whiz past when I scrolled up. There are two ceramic items I need to grab, but I've already grabbed them. I bought them out with me. Uh, this is one of them. Let me just have a look. It sold for 20 pounds plus post. And that is a Fratelli Fanciulacci. <laughs> no idea. Uh, it is, is that Italian maybe? I'm not sure. Yes, it says Italian pottery on the, on the title. Isn't that lovely? So that one didn't stick around. That one sold quick. And then I think this one, uh, we took a lower offer on. I think it's gone out for about 10 pounds plus post, I think. Little studio piece signed on the bottom. So a couple of those, which I bought out from upstairs. And then we'll whiz through everything else quick. Um, so we need an astronaut outfit. Ooh, I have a bunch more of these up here. Top this up again. Very tricky to get one-handed. This is the bit that's going to be deja vu because it's the usual suspects um, we're still selling, like the drill bits, which are rapidly depleting. Uh, one of those, a dinosaur, fantastic. Now we have a bunch here. I have rearranged under here when I was condensing everything so we have some to hand oh there we go good to see those ticking along um nano tape we have stacked a load more up in here again so one lot of four there we go a world of warcraft um, gaming mat, remember where they are, one of these. Now I've been experimenting with putting some of uh, this stuff on auction. So I've got the buy it now listings still active and then I'm putting an odd one on auction now and again. Um, so I'm reducing the, the price, but I'm adding shipping. So it ends up there or thereabouts the price that I've been sending out offers at. Um, and that's been working. We've been getting some success from the auctions. Um, and that was an auction listing. I think we've got a bid on another one as well. Um, right, more nanotape. There's a message. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Love watching your videos. Have yet to make a live one. Have yet to make a live one. Do you mean you, you want to make videos, but you haven't done it yet? I recommend YouTube to everyone. It's It's... It's a great, great thing. It really is. Um, it's It's been genuinely life-changing for us. Um, it's opened many doors. It's been great for my personal self-confidence. It's been great for the business in general. We've made lots of friends through it. So if you're thinking about doing YouTube, 
I would say just go for it. Um, so thank you, that's Anne, and you've ordered some of the tape. So, one, two, three, four. Still doing these at a really good price. We, we have a lot of this stuff, and I'm glad it's selling quickly. Um, but we are the cheapest on eBay for this thick, um, chunky stuff. Four for a tenner delivered. It is a bargain. And lots of people are buying that, which is fantastic. So, uh, next, drill bits. Two. Two to the same buyer. Oh, we're on to the last stack. If I can pick this one up. We're on to the last little stack tucked in the back there, look. Two of those. Um, a bubble machine now. Here we go. We were talking um, last night. Now the weather is slowly starting to improve. We can, we can picture summer happening. And we're looking forward to, uh, in the summer months, doing a few boot sales and selling off some of the bulk. These, you may remember, we have hundreds of these. Got them at a good price. And I think we're gonna try and sell some of those um, in the summer at a boot sale, along with whatever lines we've got overstocks of that we want to shift. Um, we're already into profit on that entire first deal. So from here on in, it's all just bonus, right? Bonus profit. So yeah, I think <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was some of the tape jumping off the shelves. Are you keen to go suicidal tape? Anyway, where was I? Yes. Um, now, a couple of really nice orders. We still have these um, these in here, which are security CCTV sets. These are the smaller sets that have two cameras. Um, we sold out of the bigger sets, and these have now started ticking along. Um, I also listed one of these on auction. In fact, two. We sold two on auction now. Um, one of these went on auction and one has gone for the buy it now price. I have tweaked the buy it now price to £100 on these to get them moving to get some traction and it is working. So that's two of the security uh, camera sets going out today, which is awesome. We still have a good, I don't know how many that is, 20 odd maybe left of those. So we've got a lot of value tied up in those and that's good to get them shifting so next we need a dog or cat travel bag these are still ticking along oh, if i can reach one these ones that you put all your pet stuff in that's been a good line we sold lots of those another astronaut outfit let's grab that one There we go. More drills. Oh, don't fall off. There we go. Um, scales in here. So yeah, we've now only got four of those left. The digital bathroom scales. Um, Another pet travel bag. Can you see? No. There it is. Um, two of the kids' travel trays, um, which are here. Oops. Two or have I got three there? No, that's two. Now, I think these might be going to a viewer. I think we had a conversation with a viewer about those. They went on offer as a pair. Um, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Um, right. What have we got? Another travel bag. These are going well. Oh, there's one tucked up here. Look, let's grab that one. There it is. Um, 
some of the coat hooks these a pack of eight so i will get eight out of there i have to remember as well these come with screws i haven't messed it up yet but there may come a time when i forget to pack some screws with them um yeah hasn't happened yet but it, it's possible um i've sold i think it's the last switch game i had oh everything's in a mess hang on a minute tape going everywhere if i move that red nose we've got under here yeah it's the last the last switch game i bought a bunch of these at a jumble sale a couple of months ago now and that was the last to go this is factory sealed and it went for 19 pounds uh, so yeah happy with that we sold some scooter wheels one pair of the colored ones which are down here those have gone i think they're on at 20 is it yeah 20 pounds another astronaut outfit which are also on at 20 pounds and as you can see by the volume of these we're now shifting that's the that's the price we we needed them at that was a good sentence nick um another bubble machine up here we're building a tower steady okay we've sold a cat carrier now this is the very last of these we have now sold out of these ones which you put your pet in um they we could command a better price on those those were 20 pounds each but we didn't have as many and they've now all gone whereas these we have loads left but they are selling a lot quicker but for less profit on the other ones but you know it's all good they are shifting right more drills and more drills so two more sets of drills tucked away in here oh two more loads of those going out today um right uh, somebody has bought a whole load of different vintage red noses um right i'll grab those and come back to you Okay, so it's these three lots for a combined total of £41. One of these little alien guys and some vintage boxed ones and a loose squeaky one. It's not squeaking. There we go. So that's all going to the same customer. Put those over there. And what else do we need? Oh, there's a message on here. Wow, it's a long one. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Thank you so much for all your great content and virtual companionship over the years. Thank you very much. I watched you for a long time before taking the plunge myself a few years back. It's all thanks to you that I finally found something I love and am pretty good at. Good for you. You are absolute legends. Well, I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> uh, you bought some some of the nano tape and you say this tape will help me make tweaks in my office and I can also put something nice up on the wall all the very best Tim well thank you for the order Tim yeah it's handy stuff this and with four rolls of it you'll have enough to last you a lifetime or you can give it to give it to friends and family because yeah four rolls there's plenty to do a few jobs in your office. Right. Oh, and then we're at the top. We are at the top with the Italian vase, which I've already shown you. So there you go. That is my heap of stuff to get out of the door today. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you are new here, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the internet as a job. Yes, this is my job. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please think about subscribing if you're not already. I will grab one of my other videos. I'll find an old one and pop it up here for you. So if you want to carry on watching, check this one out. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.